here's a few more advantages the elite enjoy that you and I don't. The elite get free bank accounts with interest. For hundreds of years, banking was always free. For centuries, banking was an option. In fact, banks would often pay you to entice your patronage. But not anymore. Now, since the elite have manipulated the government into forcing your participation, and banking has become a social requirement, if you're too poor to maintain a minimum balance or don't have a minimum direct deposit, all the major banks will charge you for your mandatory bank account. If you're a Comlin, you pay for what the elite get for free. In other words, if you're poor, you pay more. Does this make any sense to anyone? Furthermore, the elite get bankruptcy protection. Do you? Bankruptcy is defined as a government authorized procedure which allows an entity relief from liability from its debts by making court approved arrangements for their partial repayment. Mr. Trump has declared bankruptcy about four times and he's allowed to remain a billionaire? Does he advocate the same privilege for his blind Comlin supporters? Filing for bankruptcy is an intentionally expensive procedure that most Comlin are unable to afford. And with the student loan scam, the elite have come up with yet another double standard. Now, even if you can afford to file and receive the welfare benefits of bankruptcy, it won't apply to any student loan debt you may have. This, of course, benefits only the banks. The elite have arranged it so only debt that can apply to them will apply to the Comlin. And the elite carry no student loan debt. Bankruptcy laws are set up to assist the elite in keeping their wealth. But I'm too poor to file for bankruptcy and benefit from this welfare program. What the elite offer me isn't bankruptcy welfare, but social punishment without legal due process in the form of a bad credit rating. The elite never possess bad credit ratings. They use credit reporting companies, CRCs, to exact revenge on anyone who steps out of line and defends their consumer and human rights. CRCs are set up to punish and blacklist the Comlin who have legitimate consumer disputes for not paying elitist extortion demands. Consumer protection laws are passed without means of enforcement. You exercise your consumer rights. The elite make it so you can't function in capitalist society. Bad credit can now interfere with your rights to rental housing and even employment. AT&T even demanded a $100 deposit from me to just get internet access. And this is after being a customer of theirs for over 15 years and never being late for one payment. Before you know it, all the Comlin will need an elitist certified A1 credit rating to even qualify for public assistance. And then they're going to start charging you a fee to receive your public assistance. A bad credit rating is just a form of blacklisting. Consumer protection laws 
are supposed to protect us from unethical business practices and defend the consumer's right to decide the true value of the product and service being purchased. Bad credit is actually a sign of two things. Customer dissatisfaction with the product or service received and it's the failure of capitalism to provide citizens with an income capable of paying their bills. CRCs are criminal organizations that illegally keep files on you without your knowledge or consent containing true or false personal information which can be handed out to anyone for a fee sometimes in secret or through your forced consent which of course is no consent at all and through blacklisting they can exact social punishment on you without proof without criminal charge without judicial oversight or legally protected due process and without you being able to defend yourself in any way. CRCs, credit reporting companies, use nothing but libel and defamation protected by law. There's been a law passed that's supposed to allow the consumer protective oversight of their own reputation. But I was denied my credit report by all three major companies. And there's no one I can notify about this violation of the law. Again, laws for the benefit of the common are usually passed without means of enforcement. This is Predonomics and it harms conservatives and liberals alike. We need to unite and equalism is the only way to do it. Is this really the kind of world that you want? Equalism offers a better way, the equalization of law and equal application and benefit from any and all laws is called the equal enforcement of true contract law, the equal enforcement of consent. The next video in this equalism series will be called equalism 105. Please share this video with as many equalists with as many non-predators as you possibly can. Thanks.